Welcome to this tutorial showing you how to create a piece of artwork in response to the artist Luciana Ortega. And you'll see in Photopia I've already opened up a photograph of myself and I'm going to use the crop tool to select a more close-up part of the photo. I'm just going to move that to a more centralized position and then press the tick and that crops the image for me. Okay, next up I'm going to use the magic wand tool and select the background and then press delete and that's going to get rid of my background. I'm then going to go image adjustments black and white and I'm going to turn my image black and white. I then want to replace the background so I'm going to select a new layer and drag it below my photo layer and get the um, color pickers and I'm going to select the lightest area on my skin click OK and then the other color picker I'm going to choose like the darkest area on my skin click OK and then I'm going to use those two colors with the gradient tool and just drag from top to bottom so that I fill my background with light to dark with those two colors okay right Next up, I'm going to merge those two layers. So right click on the top and click flatten image. And that creates one layer, which I can now begin to apply the effect to. So I'm going to get the pen tool and I'm going to zoom in. And I'm going to make sure the fill is any color, but the stroke is not. So the stroke is across. And then using the pen tool, I'm going to go around the inside of my head and the pen tool gives you a nice amount of control to be able to get the right curve. So it's click and then drag to make the curve, click and then drag to make the curve and so on all the way around and back up. and you're looking to be kind of a small way on the inside of your head so that there is some of your head still showing. Okay, and once you've finished your shape and you've got that done, you can right click on that and rasterize it so it's no longer a live shape, it's just a normal shape. And then use the magic wand tool to select that shape. Then I'll make that shape invisible so you can see what I'm doing. And I'm going to quickly duplicate my photo layer and I'm going to make that invisible too. I'll need it later. So on the bottom layer, I'm then going to press delete and everywhere where I had that mask selected, it's disappeared. Okay, it's gone. And then I duplicate that layer and using the arrow tool, and pressing the shift key to keep it from getting squished or stretched. I'll resize the bottom layer so that it's essentially within the layer above. So you begin creating this effect of the face disappearing into itself. Then I'm going to duplicate that layer again and go to it and use the arrow tool and the shift key to make that smaller. And you'll have to play around with the sizes here until you're happy with each layer. But once you are, duplicate the layer and resize again, making sure you're pressing the shift key. And duplicate layer again and resize. And rather than make you watch me do all of these different layers, I'm going to cut forward to a point where I've done all the layers. Okay, so join me back having done all the layers. So now I'm going back to the original photo layer that I had at the top, making it visible again and dragging it down to the bottom. And then I'm using the arrow tool to resize it so that it fits into that hole that I have in the center. And you'll need to, again, same as the other layers, just play with that until you're happy, until 
the various features fit in line with the rest. Okay, that's good. Right, now, next thing, we're going to add some shadow. So I'm going to go to my top layer, and I'm going to double-click, and I'm going to go down to Outer Glow, and I'm going to make it so that I have a gentle kind of shadow around the inside of my hole, okay? Then I'm going to right-click on that layer, go to Layer Style and Copy, and then I'm going to select all my other layers and I'm going to right click on them and go to layer style and paste. And that's going to paste that same shadow effect that I just chose onto all the other layers. So all of my holes now have that kind of gentle feeling of receding into the background because there's some shadow. OK, and I'm just flattening the image down. And that is this image done and dusted. I hope you find this tutorial helpful.